Hi there everyone, this is Amanda Silver Sister and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanna to talk about the things that I wish I would have known before I had started my gray hair journey. So for you, those of you who are new to my channel, I have been gray now for almost two years. Actually, June will be my two year silver anniversary. So I definitely am fully transitioned now. I'm sure my hair will change over the years as I still have you know, areas in the back that are quite dark. Um, but I would say that I am now an expert on going gray and I would like to answer any of your questions and support you along your journey. So this one and the thing I wish I would have known is for the newbies that are just starting on their journey. I wish I'd known that this was going to take a lot longer than I thought it would. For some reason, I thought maybe a year, maybe a year is what I was thinking. And I am, it took me 18 months to be fully transitioned to gray. And I think the reason that we have our brain wired to think it's going to happen so much faster than it does is because when those gray hairs are coming in, it feels like we are constantly trying to cover them. And that little skunk strip or whatever we call it, it gets really bold and really noticeable quite fast. But unfortunately, that's not the case um, when you're going gray. It seems to be a very, very slow process. So um, yeah, so that's one thing that I wish I would have known. Um, another thing that I wish I would have known is that for some pe for some reason, you going gray seems to give people this ability to tell you what they think about it before you've even been asked. So I think I would have come up with a few things right away because it is not an easy decision to go gray and you will feel insecure about it. You're not going to love it. You may feel that your hair is feels unkept or it's not until you have to go to a wedding or you have to go to um, an event and you're like, oh, what am I supposed to do? My hair is like half, half grown up. There is a time where that doesn't make you feel great. Um, but I would just tell you to come, have your comeback ready and um, just tell people, well, that's, you know, thank you for telling me an opinion that I didn't ask for or whatever you wanna say. Um, and then just know from my experience, so actually I'm going to a gala tomorrow night and I went to the same one last year and I was not fully transitioned then. And I actually had a lady come up to me in the bathroom saying, I saw you walk in, I really wanted to talk to you, I loved your hair, I think it looks so good, I'm thinking about going gray. So right away, it was all positive. So the just know, just be prepared and don't let those couple people that actually, I don't know, lack the tact to come up to tell you that they don't like your gray throw you off your game because there are people who are quietly watching and are loving it and you just don't hear from them. Um, the other thing I don't think I realized is this is really a community of women that are here to support each other. The Silver Sister community is fantastic. So if you are thinking about going gray and you do not have anybody supporting you in your own journey of it, my first recommendation is get on social media, start following a bunch of Silver Sisters, whatever platform you like, if you're not a big social media person that I still would like go on like Facebook or something. Um, but boy, people will rally around you. And right when you are second guessing yourself, somebody will be like, you know what? You look so good today. Or we love that demarcation line. Look at how great that looks. Or I totally remember that stage. Um, how you doing? I remember that was a hard one for me. So there's just this amazing group of uh, people that will rally around you. Um, and then the other thing I think I would have, wish I would have known is that you're not always gonna love your gray hair. So there are times that I don't love my gray hair. I might think I look a little frumpy or a little bit washed out. But then I like to remind myself that I felt the exact same way with my brown hair. It actually has nothing to do with my gray hair. Sure, with my gray hair, I might have to wear brighter colors or, you know, I like blacks, but I also like pinks and uh, blues and just brighter colors. I don't like wearing browns anymore. I don't think I can wear oatmeal anymore, but it really has nothing to do with the hair color. So if I get up and I don't have any makeup on and I throw on an oatmeal sweater and I have my hair back in a ponytail and I look in the mirror and go, huh. <laughs> I would have had those exact same days if my hair was brown. So it has nothing to do with my hair. And then I think the, probably the last thing I'll just share on here um, that I wish I would have known before I started my going gray journey is how amazing it was going to make me feel. Um, had I known that if I had just listened to my own voice and done what I thought so much longer ago, this, that grammar is off, but anyways, if I would have listened to myself long ago and just done what I wanted and I, I just, it isn't even about hair. So having the guts to do this 
and being bold enough to do this and being strong enough to not listen to those comments and um, feeling strong enough in yourself to say that I like it, I don't actually need your validation. Um, all of those things it brings about such a personal growth in, has brought about uh, such a personal growth in myself. So now I just don't find that I question my decision about many things and I used to. And so that has been this amazing part of this journey. And I think that it also has slowly, and I know that there are people who do not like me to associate gray hair with aging, but I think for many people it does come, you know, in our 40s or 50s, there are people who get their first gray hair in their 20s. I probably had, you know, my first one somewhere in my late 20s, 30s, but I didn't have this whole head of hair of gray. Um, so anyways, I think that, um, I just wish I would have known how great it would have made me feel and then I would have applied that to other areas of my life. So now I just feel a lot more confident. I feel like I'm embracing my age and my maturity more because I started embracing my gray hair. There was something for me that tied into trying to look youthful that wasn't embracing this stage of my life. And now that I fully embraced my gray hair, I feel like I'm fully embracing myself as a mature woman and being okay with everything that means. And that might mean my gray hair, that might mean a few more wrinkles, that might mean that, you know, a bunch of things, but it also means a lot of great things. It means that I have a strong sense of who I am. It means that I have a lot of confidence. It means I have the experience to have opinions um, and they can be, you know, founded or grounded in things that maybe before I just said my opinion without really thinking about why I felt that way. So there's so many great things about getting older and about maturing and, and feeling a little bit more wise and comfortable in your own skin. So I think that's about it for now, but I wanted to pop on here and share that with you. I hope that your gray hair journey is going great. It will not be without, you know, bumps in a bumps in the road. I have seen many people who have not been successful and have tried it a few times. So if that is you, do not get discouraged. We are here for you. Um, and you're not kicked out of the club if you don't do it. <laughs> You know, there's no judgment. I'm certainly not saying going gray is the only way to go. I'm totally fine if you want to dye your hair. I have no judgment at all. I just want this option to be a little bit more normalized for women so that if they want to choose to do it, if they want to choose, if they choose to do it, um, that they don't get as much uh, pushback from people in their lives by it because that, that part just doesn't make any sense to me. There will be people who will go out of your way and if you do the social media route to do, find that community, Gosh, don't let those people who say the negative comments get under your skin because they are a dime a dozen. So, okay, that's about it for now. Thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. I'm having a lot of fun on here. If there is a specific topic that you would like to talk about going gray or if you have questions, please leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to either comment back and tell you what I know or do a video about it um, if that helps. Okay, take care, guys. Have a good night.